Welcome, Drag Race fan. I'm the Monday Morning Racer, Lee Crafts. Recently, I was at Lancaster Dragway in Lancaster, New York, also known as New York International Raceway Park, for their senior nostalgia racing program. So cars that predate 1966, you're going to see on hand racing. They nearly had a full field of 16 cars and... I also threw in the finals for Junior Dragsters since they race on the same night as well. So look, enjoy the footage from Senior Nostalgia Racing at Lancaster Dragway brought to you by Monday Morning Racer. And until next time, God bless and keep the pedal to the metal. <laughs>
folks are here in the pits at Lancaster Dragway once again. This drag strip's got something going on each and every night, it seems like. And I've caught up with Roger, and Roger has got a beautiful 57 gasser out here for the Senior Nostalgia event, an event that has cars running that are below the date of 1966. Roger, look, you've got a great story with this car. It is a great car. Tell me, what I find most intriguing is you apparently saw this car as a kid, right? Yeah, I watched this car race when I was uh, 17, 18 years old, back in the mid-60s. And uh, back then, it was a beautiful car. I mean, it had a candy apple paint job on it. And candy apple red, and well, that's what's left of it because of all the sun and everything. It burned it off. But uh, yeah, I watched the race. It was a degasser. Um, the gentleman that built the car raced it from 1964 to 1971. Long time, and it's yeah. awesome that you saw this. Now you've got it, and you're continuing its racing tradition with you behind the wheel. So tell me, what kind of combination do you have going on with this car? What kind of engine, drivetrain, so on and so on? It's pretty similar to what it was back in the day. Uh, when I first bought the car, it did have the original motor in it, which was like 336 cubic inch. Uh, but through the years, I raced it, and it, it ran very well, and I broke it. So I got a brand new block, and it's a small block Chevy, and it's uh, 406 cubic inches. It's got a two-speed power glide with a 9-inch Ford rear end. Uh, back in the day, it was the 336 with a four-speed transmission and an Oldsmobile rear end. So it's, it's pretty close. I mean, looks wise, it's just about like what it was. I know from talking to you off camera, you've said pretty much other than the hood, we're looking at original stuff on this car. Yeah, the, the front suspension uh, was done by P&J Speed Shop, I believe, right here in Buffalo. And I believe that was done like in 1963 or 64. And uh, it's still in there, and it, it worked good. Uh, the rear suspension's been redone. Uh, it went from leaf springs uh, and traction bars, the old-style traction bars, to uh, uh, coilover suspension with uh, later bars, and it seems to work pretty well. Awesome. So, folks, what you're looking at is a car that is almost a time capsule of drag racing. As you see it, it's just got the patina of all the years from when it was first ran. Something you've got that I find quite intriguing in your uh, driver's side uh, rear glass, back glass, you could say, You've got small stickers yes. that are, well, I tell you what, you tell the folks, what are those small original stickers? Well, those are wind stickers, and back in the, in the mid-60s, NASCAR used to sanction drag racing at some of the tracks, and the local track around here was Canandaigua Speedway, and Canandaigua Speedway is a round and round track that still operates today, uh, but uh, they set up a, a straight uh, launch uh, run and used to come launch on asphalt and then go on to the dirt, okay? So every time you won your class, you got a sticker. So it was, you know, it wasn't, as far as money goes, it wasn't, you didn't get rich, but it was bragging rights. Awesome, Roger. What a great piece, a car with so much history and you're continuing that racing tradition and a drag car that can say it's raced on concrete, asphalt, and dirt. That's spectacular. Roger, hope you do well tonight and thank you for your time. Thank you very much, appreciate it.
folks are here in Victory Lane with Rod. Rod, man, you got a great nostalgia machine, and you had a great night, obviously winning the race. Tell me, it being hot tonight, you had one of your fellow competitors hit the wall. What was your night like? Well, I'll tell you, I, I, I had a lucky night, really. I, I uh, had a couple issues with the car, the throttle stuck one time, and it was definitely hot and humid, and uh, I'm kind of, I guess everything's a little soaked, but you know what? It's a fun night. Uh, I, I love it here. Uh, Lancaster has been my home track for uh, going on, uh, what, about 50 years. I've been racing here, and I've always seemed to do very well here. And uh, I'm racing with a bunch of fantastic people with all the other nostalgia cars. They're all good racers, and it's just a fun night. Awesome, Rod. Look, I know next time definitely got to catch up with you and showcase your car. Folks, if you see this broken rod machine, I want you to know that just about every decal is not a decal. It is hand painted. So how long have you had the car? I've had the car for about 21 years now. Uh, a couple fellas uh, built it in Pennsylvania and uh, they dug it out of a field and they put it together as a race car and I bought it from them in 98, 1998, and of course I got it and it was pretty well used up by then. And I went through the whole car, I rewired it, I put a new engine, new tranny, did the rear end, and uh, we put some new fiberglass parts on it. I put a new fiberglass trunk on it, I put plexi the orange plexiglass windows in it, I put the fiberglass doors on it, all enlightening it and making it a little bit faster. Awesome, Rod. Look, I, I'm sure it's a fan favorite, but it's one of my favorites out here with the senior nostalgia group, Your Machine, The Broken Rod. Congratulations on the win tonight, and hopefully you got many more ahead of you. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. It's been a fun night. Thank you. Thank you, sir.